Hi guys, welcome. Today we are going to take a look at Android's LM Manager class. With this, you can schedule your app to run background tasks at some point in the future. So let's get started. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please consider to do so and turn on the notification to never miss any update. Now in Android Studio, I have already created a project. First, let's add a button here. So in the XML file, I'm going to change this layout to linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical and the gravity to center. Here, I'm going to create a button with a height and width wrap content. Set the button text to start alum. Increase the text size to 18 SP and give it a simple ID button. So we can click on it to start the alum. Now in the main activity.java, first I'm going to initialize the button. And in the onCreate method, I'm going to assign its following ID. This code here for the Android's new H2H feature. Now I'm gonna call set on click listener on this button. In the on click method, I'll create a method set alum. You can name it however you want. Inside this method, I'm gonna set the alum manager. So alum manager, I'll call it alum manager equal to casting it as a alum manager, get system service and pass the alum service as the parameter. Now to set an alum, we have to take this alum manager object and call dot set. As you can see, it provides bunch of various methods for setting an alum. You can simply use set to schedule an alum or this one set exact and allow while idle to execute alum even when the system is in idle low power mode. Set alum clock lets you schedule an actual alum which is visible on the status bar like when we set an alum on our device. It's lots more precise but consume more power. Set exact alum precisely delivered if device is in low power mode. Set and while idle same as set but it ignores device idle state. Set inexact repeating lets you schedule an repeating alum that has inexact trigger time. For example, it may repeat every hour but no precisely. There could be 5 to 10 minutes delay. Set repeating is just a simplified version and many more like this. You can visit the Android's developer website, link will be in the video description to get the details overview of this class and check what suits your need. Now for my case, I'm gonna use this set exact while idle. This takes three parameters. I'm gonna continue in next line. First is the alum type. For that we have alum manager dot. As you can see, we have various types of options. RTC wake up calculate the time based on the wall clock means time can be changed by the user or the phone network and wake up means it will wake the device up also have only RTC means it will not wake the device up alarm goes off when the device wake up next time elapsed real time calculate the alarm since the system was booted and includes deep sleep time since this clock is a monotonic and continues to tick even in low power user or phone network directly don't have any interference so it is the recommend basis for the general purpose of interval timing elapsed real time wake up same as elapsed real time but wake the device up when alarm goes off for this project scenario i'll use this rtc wake up you can look through the documentation for your need as for the next parameter, we have to pass the milliseconds when the alarm will be triggered. So system dot current time in millis plus 30 into 1000 because I want to trigger the alarm in next 30 seconds. If you want to trigger an alarm for a specific time like tomorrow 10 am, for that you have to get the tomorrow's time in millisecond and pass it in here. As for the third parameter, we need a pending intent, which will contain what kind of action we want to perform when the alarm is triggered. So I'm going to create a pending intent up here. Pending intent. I'm going to call it pending intent equal to pending intent dot. You will see that we have various different type of options here. 
get activity for opening an activity get broadcast for starting a broadcast receiver and get service for running a service it depends on your use case what you want to start for this project i want to start a broadcast receiver so i'll select this get broadcast it takes four parameters i'm going to continue in next line first is the context so i'll pass this as the context second is a request code i am simply pass 1 2 3 we should create a constant for this as for the third parameter it takes a intent so i'll create a intent up here intent i'm going to call it intent equal to new intent for the parameters this and here we have to pass the broadcast receiver class that we want to start so i have to create one for that right click on your package name new java class i'll name it my broadcast receiver in here we have to extend this class to broadcast receiver and we just have to overwrite this method on receive in here you can run your own tasks like connecting to a database showing notifications or start a device i'm just gonna simply show a toast message in here event is triggered now we go back to our main activity in here we'll pass our broadcast issue to this intent same way you can create your service or activity and pass them in here now we'll pass this intent to our pending intent we also have to pass another parameter here and that will be a flag so pending intent dot generally we have to pass this flag flag update current but after android 13 we have to use this flag immutable so our pending intent remains unchanged after being created and pass this pending intent to the alarm manager you can see that our alarm manager gives a warning that's because we haven't declared any permissions so for that we'll go to our android manifest.xml in here we have to declare a couple of permissions so users permission android permission dot wake lock android dot permission dot use exact alarm and android permission dot schedule exact alarm and we also need to register our broadcast receiver here so inside the application tag we'll type opening angle bracket receiver and pass our broadcast receiver we have just created now if we go back to our main activity we'll see that our warning is now gone you can also cancel the alarm by calling alarm manager dot cancel and pass the pending intent that you want to cancel or you can cancel them all just by calling cancel all i'm not gonna use it for this demonstration since i am displaying a toast message from the background task even if the app is running i have to declare one more permission in our android manifest so in here the permission that i need is this android.permission.post notification remember if you use notifications or service you have to declare and register them in here or it will not work now test the app to see how it will work okay the app is installed first i'll go to the apps info and turn on the notifications because after android 13 you need to request for the notification permissions in the runtime and i didn't do this because that's the beyond the scope of this tutorial now when i click this button our alarm manager is set so i'm going to close the app and remove the app from the background hopefully we'll see our toast message in next 30 seconds if it was helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions you can comment down below source code will be available in the video description and here it is okay it's working perfectly fine 
but remember if the device is rebooted after you set the alarm it will not work and you have to set it again okay guys that's it for today and i'll see you in next time take care